where Colonel Zuban Amali is about to begin his press conference. I have a statement. There will be no questions. Any interruptions and the room will be clear. The thinking... Oh, good, you're here. He's just getting ready to start. Colonel Amali. Ah, my favorite, hopelessly insane leader. I proudly accept full responsibility. As for the NATO fleet, this final warning, if it is not withdrawn immediately from what I declare to be Hambati waters, then I am going to strike deep into your homeland. The decision will be mine. The responsibility will be yours. Long live Hambati. No. He seems to have gotten over his shyness. I just, I, I really, I cannot believe that jerk is actually threatening us. Is that what that was? Come on, VH, this is, this sounds like serious trouble. No, no, that sounds like serious trouble. Ooh-wee! We got a thumb scorcher today. Hope you've been hosing down the hogs and dipping into the lemonade. It is so hot, I swear, I've seen a bird picking up a worm with a pot holder. Well, this little number ought to cool off your dog. Turn the radio off. I like it. Hey, how come we're taking these back roads, Lou? Maybe the dispatcher thinks you like back roads, Eddie. Come on, cut the crap. They got me driving this cube panel van with an armed guard sitting beside me. Obviously, they're trying to hide something. Why don't they tell me when I'm hauling plutonium? Maybe they want you to get there. Watch the road, Eddie. Keep it closed. The only time the air conditioner works is in the winter. Open it, Lou. Open it, Lou. Okay. Hi. Do exactly as I say and you might live. You keep it up to speed. Your shotgun at the door. Quick. And your pistol. And the back up under the seat. Don't shoot us, okay? I'll pull over. Oh, great. Just keep it running. Now you know exactly what I want. Keep driving. Get it. Come on, come on, come on!
Where'd he go? How should I know? He couldn't just disappear. You're in deep trouble, Lou. We're in deep trouble, Eddie. There's enough plutonium in there to blow up half the East Coast. Oh, no, when you're finished with the TV, can you do some filing for me? Mr. Greensman, no, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just finished. No I was rush. Just... Take your time. Oh, yeah. VH, you're early. Actually, I'm an hour late. Well, you're a, uh, an hour and a half late every day, so you're early. Won't happen again. Guess what I'm getting. You're searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. It's a satellite dish. That was my next guess. Having it installed this afternoon at home. Oh. A satellite dish and a 40-inch rear screen projection television. Isn't it great? Oh, yeah, that's really great, Mr. Greenspan. So they're kind of expensive. That's the beauty of it. Ask me how much it costs. Ask me how much it costs. How much, How much did it cost, cost Mr. Mr. Greenspan? Greenspan? $500. Oh, that's good. If you don't burn your fingers, Mel, well, it might be a little hot. Nonsense. So give it to me at a great price, because I'm going to let a few neighbors view it. You get Debbie's approval on that? I don't need... I don't know why I talk to you. Oh, by the way, Major Flack call. He wants to see us immediately. When? About an hour ago. And I told him that you were an hour and a half late every day. Thanks, Pablo. Oh, no, uh, uh, morning. morning, Major. And have another talk with those idiots who lost the plutonium. Morning, Major. You In the meantime, we're going to code blue status until we know more about this Amali thread. Keep me posted on everything. Now, Melville. Morning, Major. You wanted to see us? Adderley? Major? We've got a problem on our hands. So I heard code blue status. Surely you're not taking Colonel Wacko's threat seriously. All threats are serious, Melville, when plutonium's been stolen. Did I ask you to come up here? No, sir, but I thought I should know what Adderley... How much is missing? Enough of that lunatic to make ten bombs if he gets it. You recognize this guy? Ben Mohammed, I'm Ali's right-hand man. There's a report that he's in the country. To get the plutonium. Ben Mohammed is trouble. We want his visit to be uneventful. How can I help? Well, the situation here requires that I utilize many of my very best men. Kind of you to say so, sir. Now, one of my best men had been slated to attend tonight's regional science fair. In order to free him from more essential duties... Science fair, Major? One of the exhibitors, a chap named Cohen Cavanaugh, has contacted us several times. He claims he's invented some device that could be of interest to ISI. What kind of device is that, sir? That's what we have to find out. And with everyone else on alert... Melville's not on alert. He loves gadgets. He would love the science fair. I'd be honored, sir. Yeah. No. Oh, Major, come on, please. An important shipment of plutonium is missing. Ben Muhammad is in the country, but do I get a piece of the action? No. I get what's behind door number three. The Adam. science fair. Melville. Do you want a written order? No, thank you, Major. And Adderley, it's just a look-and-see operation. It isn't Paris. Don't try to turn it into Paris. Dismissed! You'd think you'd have accepted your place in the organization by now. Things like science fairs are what you do, Adderley. Forget charging off to save the world. It's not in the cards anymore. Guys like Amali are all show anyway. You've got to learn to buckle down and do your job. Make miscellaneous affairs proud. Try to fit into the big picture in your own small way. Apparently, the thief smashed the side mirror with the butt of his gun. To prevent him from seeing the getaway. According to the driver and the guard, he came out of nowhere and disappeared into thin air. You figure it out. You think
think they'll figure out how we did it? So what if they do? Take it easy. Don't be so nervous, Mo. Relax. Without the triggering device, nothing can happen. And we haven't gotten that yet. Why did Amali make a threat before he was sure we got everything? For two simple reasons. One, he knows we can get it. And two, I really don't want to get into it. Molly is a real moody man, smiling only upon those who make his dreams come true. And I want to be one of those that he smiles upon. And what is this, uh, this dream? Let the world take him seriously. But we're supposed to be a peaceful nation. No. If it means wiping out thousands of people to prove it, so be it. Looks like a rubber scrape by the passenger door. Hang on. Right there. everything I've got on Hazar and Haddock? Yeah, yeah, I, I'd really appreciate it, Dave. You would? I'll take a look. Oh, I don't know, Mona. They're both listed under NIP. NIP? The new identity program. I'd be taking a big chance. I could lose my job, but I'd do it for you. If you'd <laughs> go out with me tonight. Can you hang on a sec, Dave? I'm just going to put you on hold, because sometimes I put people on hold. He wants to go out with me. He always does. This time he's serious, Adderley. He said there's no files till after the date. He's adamant. Well, so where are you going to go? <laughs> he promised me a night I'll never forget. I'm sure you won't. Oh. Mona, I'm not going to force you no. to go operational. Operational? Oh, gee. Oh, I'm going to regret this. Dave, 7 o'clock okay? Yahoo! <laughs> and get a down payment. I need the addresses on both these guys. Dave, I need a down payment. Um, Dave, I need... I, I need the addresses, both these guys. Fingers to the bone. Hazard air. That get you a lot of business? What do you want, Adderley? You know I'm not a player anymore. I haven't been since the trial. Oh, I know you're not, Moab. Mo. And speaking of the trial, how's your old friend Nasher Haddock? He's dead. Oh, that's not like Nasher. Who did it? Our side or yours? I mean, theirs. Theirs. Well, it's hardly a surprise. I mean, the way you guys sang at the trial, I'm surprised they let you live this long. Molly likes to take his time with revenge. He enjoys it more that way. Yeah, doesn't he, though? <laughs> so, you going back into the air show business? Sadly, no. It's a bit high profile for my present circumstances. Hi, Hulk Cargo. What a shame. It was a real good cover. And I love that routine you guys used to do. You know, where you drop a man from a helicopter onto the roof of a moving vehicle? That was Nashir's specialty. He was the uh, helicopter pilot. Oh, he never taught it to you? Oh. I guess it must have been two other guys. 
now. I gotta go. Happy landing. He recognized a trick, that's all. If he reports to ISI, nothing. By the time he puts it together, he'll be one of thousands of casualties. Still, we should do something. Mo, don't worry about it. It's all right. When's this thing going to be hooked up, Mel? Any minute now. You said that an hour ago. Yeah, come on, kids. We've got to run the through downstairs. Well, we're running to go inside. Debbie, yeah. whose let's children the are they? Yeah. Oh, no, and let's not disturb the rest. Now we're going. Don't these people ever eat at home? <laughs> All right, I was going to save the roast beef for dinner, but I will cut it off. We didn't promise to let prospective buyers sell. Oh, you don't mind my dog. No, we never promised to make any sandwiches. <laughs> then go and cut off the roast beef. I will. Turn it on now, Mr. Greenspan. Come on, let's see. Come on, let's see. And to those who have about freedom of the seas in international waters, I say, if Western ships, if all Western ships are not removed well, from combative waters, time. then I will be forced to strike back in exactly 24 hours. The word has been given. The Very special customer, Mr. Greenspan. Any trouble you call us, we'll be here. At the speed of light? No longer will come back. Hey, man, get the game on. This guy. Okay, please, please. TV is fixed. They're going to watch this ball game just as soon as this clown finishes. And Debbie's going to bring us some nice roast beef sandwiches. Got any ham? Room whose, whose kids are they? Adderley, what are you doing here? I'm looking for you, Melville. I tried the office. Do you think it's a good idea to have Mona tell people you're at a communication seminar? What do you want? I need to see the major. Then I suggest you make an appointment and go through the usual channels. I'm busy. You are the usual channels, Melville, and the major's very anxious to find out who stole the plutonium. And you know who. I know who, and I know how. A man dropped from a helicopter onto the roof of the van. Onto the roof of a van? It's an old trick, but it's effective. The pilot who did it best was Nasir Haddock, but he's dead. I should think so if we went around dropping people under the roofs of... But his partner's alive, Mohab Hazar. He used to work for Amali. Now he's in our new identities program. Then his life depends upon Amali not finding him. He wouldn't be involved. Amali's evil, but he's not... dumb. Why would he hide an agent if we do it for him? This is important, Melville. Shouldn't you be at the science fair? If you say so, Melville. I say so, exactly. Then remember the date and the time of this visit. I'm so hungry I can eat a dozen. You might as well at your dinner. The bread mold demonstration will begin in 10 minutes in Theater 3. Sandwiches will be served during the lecture. Home robot. Capable of interacting with humans at various levels of entertainment and uh, See, the solution to food problems has always been right underneath our noses. Or to be more specific, under our feet. <laughs> Ground into a compound resembling pink flour, the red ant can supply a whole new source of protein. Would you like a cookie, sir? No, thanks. Vegetarian. Do you know where Mr. Kavanaugh's booth is? Well, 
look who's here. Well, VH Adderley, how incredibly nice to see you here. What up, Dave? Oh, Dave, why don't you shake his hand? I to remember. Boy, are we ever having fun. Uh, Aren't we, Mona? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, look what's over there. Excuse me. Stop smiling. You gotta do something. He has asked me back to his place for drinks. I'm talking drinks. I'm sure he's a very nice guy once you get to know him. Oh, you gotta try one of these pink cookies. They're delicious. Excuse us. Do something. Mr. Kavanaugh? Yes. You're Mr. Kavanaugh? Call me Colin. Who are you? B.H. Adderley, Miscellaneous Affairs. Hey, I saw it. You came. Yeah. What's Miscellaneous Affairs? We're the department that handles people like you. I understand you've written us about an invention. The Broadcast Electricity Automatic Activator. It creates 65 gigawatts by linking a Zener diode with a potentiometer. Then integrates it with a dip switch. And you don't get it, do you? It's like a telephone beeper, only this sends an electrical signal anywhere in the world. Watch, it works. Neat, huh? Nothing happened. Oh, not here. But somewhere in China, I just turned the lights on. Or at least I would have. I haven't built the automatic receiver yet, but I've got the schematic. And you figured this would be a use to ISI? Sure. You could turn on the KGB's clock radios in the middle of the night destroy their sleep patterns. Sabotage their garage door openers? They'd be begging for mercy in no time. It works. Only well, I haven't built the automatic... Automatic receiver. Obviously, you need a receiver on the other end. Obviously. So, you know what we have to do, right? For sure. Okay. Are your parents coming to pick you up? I'd like to talk to them. No. Could you have them call me, please? And could I keep these papers? Okay. But be careful. They're my only copy. Goodbye, Mr. Adam. Goodbye, Colin. Thanks. Colin? Colin Kavanaugh? Who are you? ISI. Would you come with us, please? But I was just talking to... Oh, Adelie, well, we work together. Didn't you see the signal? No. <laughs> what signal? See how good he is? He's trying to tell me he didn't see the signal. You're good. Come on, we'll greet you in the car. You're kidding. You're this time. It didn't go well? Oh, not only did I get to spend my entire operational evening with Dave, but I also got to spend half the night chasing red ants around my apartment. Think of all the cookies you could have made. Oh, oh Abby, I'm so crawly. I'm so itchy. I got ant bites all over me. I got all over my body. I'll make it up to you, Mon, I promise. Yeah. If there's anywhere in particular you want me to scratch, then... Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Yeah, you can write right, right in the middle, just in the middle of my back there. Just mm -hmm. scratch, yeah, scratch it. Ow, what? How's that? Oh, yeah. Is that it? No, just a little lower and over to the right, and then you'll be right. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. Ah. Oh, good, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, thank you. You're looking a little rugged today, Melville. After you left, the bowling team came over to watch the regional pick-a-pin tournament. Some of them stayed. It's not easy being the life of the party. Debbie called me terrible things. I didn't even know she knew some of those words. I don't even know some of those words. Miss Lays. Oh! Oh! Sorry, I'm sorry, Miss Lays. Major Clark, no, 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 Major Clark. I was just there with... I want to see Natterly right away. Yeah? Right away. Do you want 
Yes, sir, immediately, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, Major Clark wants to see you right away. Me? No, him. If they won't leave, Melville, show them your vacation movies. That always works. My nation is unified in its stance, and we will do everything in our power to protect ourselves from hostile acts by the Western Alliance. The message is clear. Stay away from combative waters or pay the price. And make no mistake, my scientists do possess the knowledge to construct a nuclear bomb, and we will deliver it at the speed of light, destroying a Western city of great importance. Will destroy the home of the devil's helper, eliminate the evil. That's what he calls us. Then he's targeted our My city. And the Molly's deadline's only seven hours away. At the speed of light, no missile travels at the speed of light. He's not the most accurate man in the world. He means he's got a missile and it moves fast. Isn't that alarming enough? It's all beginning to make sense. They will witness the execution of my plan. I will show to the world. In the midst of all this, I got a call from Colin Kavanaugh's mother. The kid didn't come home from the science fair last night. Go and see her. Find out what she wants from us. I don't have the time. Major, about the plutonium. I think I know who stole it and how. Which is it? You think or you know? Well, I, I think I know. And I know I don't have the time. Major, if you just listen... Adderley, all I want from you right now is to get that woman off my back. Go and see her, show her we're concerned, and do it now. I don't suppose you want to know about Kavanaugh's theory. You're quite right, Adderley. We're busy here. Yeah, Mom. Just a friend. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'll be home for lunch. Bye. I got all the stuff you asked for. Electronic components, demodulators, frequency adjusters, cookies, sandwiches. There's still some soda pop in the fridge. Were you talking to your mom? Yeah. I still don't understand why I couldn't tell her you were with ISI. Because I told you last night, Cole, and I work with covert electronic counterintelligence to the outside world we don't exist. So how's it coming on the receiving mechanism? Great. Did you get the schematics from Mr. Adderley? Well, Adderley hasn't been cleared on this project. He's on another job. I thought you said you remembered how to do the plans. Well, I do. Just that it might take a little longer. Well, how long do you think it's going to take for you to finish? Gee, I don't know. Two hours? Two hours. Thank you, Mrs. Kavanaugh. Bye-bye. Okay, I just... Excuse me. I just called Mrs. Kavanaugh. Colin is all right. He called his mother. Apparently, he got together with a uh, friend who was really interested in his invention. They got talking, and Colin says he'll be home today before lunch. Hey, is that the invention? Part of it. I didn't take the kid too seriously last night, but this is really quite clever. Practical for our use. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Melville won't mind if I go to the airport for a little surveillance. Oh, yeah? What are you looking for? To get the proof that Clack is always asking for. Something to tie a molly with Mo Hazard. If I get anything, I'll call you. Is my flight set? Everything's been taken care of. All you gotta do is drive out to the rendezvous. Point. And you'll attach your receiver to the bomb. Yeah, don't worry about it. Listen, listen, what about the kid? Kill him. With what's going to happen, is that, is that necessary? Suit yourself, look. Think that you 
are about to change the history of the world, are you? What are you going to do with me? Come to the office, Colin. We're not uh, quite finished with you yet. But I promised my mom I'd be home for lunch. Don't worry about your mother. Well, maybe I can watch your satellite TV? Sure, go ahead. Enjoy yourself. Just brought a smile to Molly's face. Here's the activator. Have nice flights. Make sure you're out of here. Miss Affairs. Mona, I need to get a message to Clack right away. Okay, shoot. Tell him to get some men and get out to the airport. Ben Mohammed is here. He's got Colin and his invention. What? The activator? How'd he get that? Well, he's obviously the friend that Colin met at the science fair. And if what I'm thinking is true, they've got everything they need to blow up this city. Well, Adderley, how are they gonna send the bomb? The bomb is already here, Mona. I gotta go. Hi, Debbie. Um, Mr. Greenspan? Oh, well, he's out right now. Can I? Debbie, listen, I've got something very important to do. Can... Oh, sorry. You have an emergency? Yes. Your TV is broken. Okay, Debbie. Yeah, I'll see that he gets that right away. As soon as he wakes up. I mean, as soon as he comes in, I'll come. Yeah. Okay, no, no problem. I'll do it immediately. Right. Okay, okay. Bye. Mr. Greenspan. Mr. Greenspan, sir. Mr. Greenspan, sir. Clumsy move, Mr. Adderley. Another fine mess you got me into. If you want to see the boy alive, I suggest you do what I say. Okay. That's my specialty, kid. You probably read about your invention in a science magazine. Ben figured the rest. Why send a bomb? Build one, stash it, and snatch Colin, snatch the plutonium, Put the great Amali on TV to do his trick. The decision will be mine. The responsibility will be yours. Long live Hambati. Our source was quite positive, Major. Ben Mohammed has managed to get out of the country. With enough time to get back to Amali before the deadline. Yes, sir. But he doesn't have a delivery system and he can't build one in two and a half hours. Molly's gonna have to come up with a pretty fast explanation of what went wrong. Nothing went wrong, sir. Who let her in here? What is it, Mo? Adderley asked me to ask you to get some men and go out to the airport right away, sir. You see, Ben Mohammed took Colin Kavanaugh's invention, which will enable O'Malley to detonate the bomb and blow up the city, sir. What exactly is this invention? Well, I... Got it here. You see, it, it's, um... May I, sir? It sort of works like remote control.
one that can turn out the lights for three million people with the press of a button. Now we've got to find that bomb. Even if you do escape, by then it won't matter. Colonel Amali wished the devil's helper to anticipate his death. The anticipation is more agonizing than the dying. Yeah, he loves to make us devil's helpers squirm, doesn't he? He probably even had you plant the bomb with one of our people. Very good. But you'll never guess which one. Oh. You'd be surprised. Molly will bring your country to its knees. Like a batch of bad oysters. How can you joke in the face of death? Have you ever seen the face of death? Well, if you excuse me now, I have to make a delivery. What do we do now? Hang on, I'll get a knife. Did you call the service, man? Of course I did, about an hour ago. Oh, oh here, take this to your friends. Get the screen, Al. That sometimes works. Hey, please, 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 don't, don't. Debbie, will you try that service man again? Melville, hey. he's here. Oh, am I glad to see you. Your wife told me about the problem, Mr. Greenspan. So I brought you a signal booster. I guarantee it'll improve your reception dramatically. Pass the chips over here! Everyone back to their seats. Yep. I wonder. Bad Greenspan's house. Ben Mohammed left six hours ago. That gives him plenty of time to get the activator to Amali. But well, Amali's deadline is in 11 minutes. Well, I better get over there. But Mr. Greenspan's house is on the other side of town. You'll never make it. I will if I fly. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Now, calm down. Have you ever flown one of these before? Uh, no. But I read a manual once. <sighs> now, let's see. What's this button for? Beside of Molly, he looks like our repair man. Hey, Deb, Deb, you gotta see this. Do we have to watch this? Debbie, where are those sandwiches? Melville, if one more person says, Where's the sandwiches? I am not going to be held responsible for my actions. Will you shut up, you idiot? What did you say? Talking to the television, dear. Get rid of this guy. Sorry, How am I going to land this baby?
drop in like this. Oh, I'm gonna tell Mel he's gonna be so ticked. Look out! Hey, what? End is near for thousands of Westerners. Adderley, are you insane? Ten seconds. Nine. It's okay. Five. Oh, not the dish. Hey. One. It broke it. Belleville. Channel 65. The Blue Jays are playing. All right. Here we go. Okay, sit down, sit down. Come on, come on, everybody move. And so we'd like to buy the rights to your little invention. I'm sure we can negotiate a price that'll see you right through college and for quite a while after that. What do you say? Um, there's a problem with that, sir. Problem? The problem is the receiver doesn't work. Doesn't work. There seems to be some problem with the schematics. Are you trying to tell me that this chaos with Amali was just... It was all for nothing? Afraid so, Major. The bomb wouldn't have gone up. I believe Mr. Adderley has promised you a tour of ISI. That's right. Then I suggest you get to it. Thanks for dropping by. Hold on a moment, Melville. There's something I want to talk to you about. I don't understand. I thought you said the receiver did work and the bomb would have gone off. Well, it does. I told him to say that it didn't work. After seeing what those men did with my activating receiver, I got to thinking maybe it's not such a great Melville. invention after all. Thank you, Major. <laughs> Mr. Greenspan, what's the matter? Major Clark just invited himself over to watch the three sisters live from the Moscow Art Center. Oh, and you wanted to watch the hurling championships. That's Chekhov. That's one of my favorite playwrights. The play's in Russian. If there's a joke, how am I supposed to know when to laugh? Have you ever seen Three Sisters? It's probably one of the funniest plays ever written. My advice would be to laugh at every line. You think so? Oh, he'd really respect you. <laughs> Thank you.